All right, this is a quick video on how to tell if your speedometer is bad for an FJ40. Um, FJ, this is kind of for FJ40s, but a lot of speedometers for Toyotas in this time period, kind of in the 70s and 80s, kind of all work the same. Um, <clears throat> I'll start out with the newest ones here. This is the newer model of speedometer body. It gets plastic, and it has the just the groove here for the clip-on speedometer cable, so that it just goes on there and clips on. So they call the, I just call this kind of the newer style. I don't know if it has a real name. These typically never go bad. <laughs> I've only seen maybe one or two that have gone really bad, at least from the speedometer's speedometer perspective. Um, they stay pretty tight. I think they've changed the way that they had the the bearing in the shaft in here, um, and so they they stay pretty pretty true um, as long as they're not taken apart and damaged. Now the odometers will bur will burn out because there's a couple gears back here, way back in the back here. There's a gear there that's turning off of the main shaft here that feeds a gear here, that feeds a gear down here, that feeds a gear here. And the one thing I'll say is that if your speedometer or your odometer is stuck and these gears are just binding against each other constantly, um, they'll eventually wear themselves out. They'll, the little teeth, especially in this back section here, will get worn out. So if you're spinning it with a drill um, and this gear here isn't turning, there's a good chance that this is worn out. And that's not really removable back there, so you're going to be searching for a new body housing um, if, you, if you have that happen. But by and large, these new ones, they, don't, they just typically don't go bad. Okay, stepping back one generation. This is a, um, a screw-in speedometer type. It's the plastic body. They had a couple different models of this, um, but they basically are the same. Um, these will go bad typically by this kind of outer housing here. So this is spinning around, and inside of there, there's a little aluminum wheel that just has one little round disc of steel on it. And the faster this goes, the more that mag the magnetism pulls that up, right? It just keeps going and going around the outside and it'll just pull the speedometer needle across. But what happens is, is that these get really loose and then they start touching that little piece of aluminum on the inside and grabbing it and spinning it and spinning it and spinning it. And these have, again, like an older style shaft and are bearing in them that just gets worn out. And, and you can tell, you can kind of shake this back and forth and it'll be loose. And I think I have, I have one here that I think has a lot more play. So maybe you can, maybe we can see this on the camera. So see how much play that has. And I've seen ones that are even worse than this. So if you can do this with your kind of screw-in style speedometer, that could be why you're having an, a needle that's kind of bouncing all around. And eventually it'll catch it and it'll just spin it and break the needle and break the, the little spring in there and everything. So that's the other kind of um, reason that these go bad. The last thing is, is the, the actual speedometer shaft itself. So this is an old t style steel speedometer or metal speedometer, I don't know if that's steel. Um, and the way they used to have this seated, this, let me see if I can pull out, this shaft seated in the back of it so that it would spin on the outside, but this would stay still. It eventually gets worn out and you can actually grab this and kind of shake this back and forth. And if you can come in here and you can see that piece there that's moving on the inside, that's the aluminum piece. If that aluminum piece is, is got that much play in it, again, as the magnet inside of there is spinning, you know, a thousand RPM, it will gra it'll have a tendency to start grabbing this and making the needle just jump really fast, you know, all the way around or, you know, just kind of bouncing all over the place because it's not keeping a it's not keeping a space between the magnet that's turning inside and then this little guy right here. So there's a few things to check on your speedometer um, if you're having trouble with it. Now, if you do have trouble with these, if, if these are worn out, 
these things are around. You just kind of have to look on eBay or you can give me a buzz. Um, I may have, I usually have a couple of them laying around, but they are getting a little harder to find, especially these old ones. So, um, that's it. Thanks very much.